Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Axe Japan. Before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you for clicking on it, even though you probably don't have a clue what I'm going to be talking about, but maybe some of you do. Uh, but for those of you who don't, uh, thank you. So for those of you who have been following me recently, you'll know that I put out an original song in the style of Bandmade a few months ago with a girl called Cher on vocals. And I'm still totally blown away by the reception that it's got. For me as a musician, it's probably the most success I've ever had with something that I've written myself. So just to get like, you know, recognition for that is, is just amazing. I'm so happy. And the plan was always to do another one, so here we are. So I'm officially announcing uh, the Nemo Made single. So what that means, um, basically I'm going to be doing two songs. Uh, one is going to be in the style of Bandmade, and one is going to be more in the style of Nemophila. The idea was to always do another song in the style of Bandmade, but uh, this time I'm going to be doing it in the more progressive side, uh, so the more recent style of Bandmade. I was doing more of a, an old school Bandmade uh, style before uh, in the world domination kind of era, but now I want to try and uh, attempt to do one in the style of the more recent stuff. And doing two songs just felt like a natural, you know, step up from last time. They're going to be quite diverse. And to complement that diversity, I decided to, you know, do another song in the style of a different group. So I'm going to be giving you guys previews of the songs later on in this video. I'm going to be playing a couple of minutes of each one so you can get a sense of what they're going to sound like. Uh, I've already been talking to Cher and she is on board. She really enjoyed uh, working with me last time and she's really up for doing this new project uh, as well, which is great because a lot of you guys absolutely loved her voice on the original one and so did I. I think she absolutely killed it and I, I couldn't imagine uh, doing it again with anyone else. And this is the main reason for making this video is to announce the Kickstarter to raise the funds to hire her again. She's given me a quote, you know, it's very fair uh, and I'm sure we can reach the goal with your guys' help. So I'll give you all the details of the Kickstarter after the track previews, uh, but it's just going to be the same deal as last time, basically just pre-ordering the single, pledging what you can to the Kickstarter, uh, and just helping raise the funds to make this project happen. And I'm super excited for these songs. I'm really proud of these. The songs are pretty much almost written. There's still no lyrics and stuff yet, but musically uh, it's 90% there. You know, I set out to outdo uh, the first one and I think I've done it. I'm really excited for you to hear it too. So I know you want to hear the previews of the tracks, but I'll just uh, give you a quick overview of just the thought process behind the tracks. So for the first song, the song in the style of Bandmade progressive. I just had to take the approach uh, of coming more out of my comfort zone in terms of writing, not relying so much on heavy riffs, you know, really thinking how could I make this more interesting and how could I, you know, change things here and there. Let's add a pre-course to this pre-course, you know, that kind of thing. It's been a challenge, but it's been a really good one. I wanted it to be upbeat, high energy, but also have a lot of dynamics as well, a lot of changes. And for the song in the style of Nemophila, I actually did start writing this in the style of Bandmade. I thought it was going to turn into a song that was kind of inspired by daydreaming. But the more the song progressed, I started to, you know, feel like it was more like the Nemophila song Life. Uh, so it's kind of a cross between the two. This really is the Nemo, the Nemo Made song. If the two bands were to collide, I feel like this is what would happen. But it's very much a ballad, this song. You know, it's kind of a rockin' ballad. You know, I just wanted to have a total contrast between the first song and this song. Okay, so I've probably rambled on long enough. You want to hear these uh, track previews. So these are just drums and guitars so far. Things could change. You know, there's probably going to be additions here and there, but the bare bones are here, so you'll get an idea of what it sounds like. So I'm going to hand over to a future version of myself now uh, and he'll play you through them so thank you so much for getting to this point in the video enjoy these track previews uh, and i'll talk to you about the kickstarter uh, when they're done enjoy these thanks
So there we go, guys. There was a sneak preview of the tracks. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed them. I hope you uh, can hear the potential in them. Uh, and if you are, you know, if you're feeling them, I really will appreciate your support uh, in the Kickstarter. So let's talk about that a bit now. So the Kickstarter is basically going to be, you know, pretty much the same as last time. I'm giving a bit more time this time because obviously we have to raise a lot more money. Uh, so the Kickstarter is going to run for a month, 30 days was the last time where I think I did it for 10 days but we did get funded you know almost straight away which is great I don't think that's going to happen this time but you know I uh, just wanted to leave enough time to do it so again the minimum amount you can pay is like a dollar and you know that'll get your name in the credits you know I really appreciate anything you can do so you know even if it's just a pound a dollar I appreciate it it's amazing thank you Moving up the list to the five pound tier, um, that's gonna get you the single. So that'll get you both tracks and you'll get them as soon as they're finished. Before they go on YouTube, you know, it's early access. What's different this time is that the first song is gonna be posted on YouTube probably a week after the songs are sent out to Kickstarter pledgers. Uh, but the second song, that's going to be on YouTube uh, a month after. Uh, so yeah, the tracks are going to be spaced a month apart on YouTube. But if you go for the £5 pledge, uh, you'll get both songs straight away. I'm also going to be uh, making a video of, you know, the kind of uh, recording process of this, um, you know, for on my side. Just film myself recording the guitars and things like that, you know, editing. So I'm going to put all that in a kind of behind the scenes video. And if you go for the £10 tier on Kickstarter, then you'll get access to that video as well, as well as the single. And you'll also get a copy of It's Automatic uh, as well if you don't have that already. Okay, and then if you're crazy enough to, you know, want to spend, you know, £50 on this, then uh, again, there's two of these available. And uh, for the £50 pledge, you'll get to name uh, one of the tracks. So, you know, and if you want to spend £100, then you can name them both. I don't mind. And if we do hit the goal and, you know, any extra money, that's just going to go towards hiring a bass player. I will try and get a real bass player on there either way. It would be great if we could go above that and then there's a bit more of a budget there to actually get a proper bass player on board. Uh, and it's just going to be so much better because I, I felt that that was very lacking in the first song. It's automatic. Another big difference is that Cher is going to be doing backing vocals. Uh, that was another big thing that I thought was lacking in It's Automatic was the lack of backing vocals. It didn't really make it like Bandmade because, you know, Bandmade always have backing vocals in their songs. So she's going to be doing at least two or three layers of backing vocals for each song. So I'm really excited about that. So that's it, guys. I, I, thank you so much for, you know, watching this video. I really hope you consider, uh, you know, pledging to this project. I would be so happy if this project got the go ahead. Um, you know, I'm so excited to get these songs finished and I think they're going to be amazing. Please let me know what you think down in the comments. Uh, the link to the Kickstarter will be in the description. Go there, check it out. Uh, and let's get this project party started. And if you have any questions at all about the Kickstarter or anything that I've talked about, feel free to ask me. So that's it for me, guys. Thank you again so, so much. Uh, I really appreciate all your support. Always, you know, even just by watching this video, if you don't pledge, I still appreciate you. Thank you so much. And yeah, I'll uh, keep you updated with how everything's going. We've got a month, you know, to get this uh, off the ground. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what happens. So thank you guys so much again, and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.